Once you've uploaded your site, you may want to set up a few advanced settings on the server and some configuration options for your website. This video will illustrate how to log into the control panel or what's known as cPanel for your hosting package. Now there's a couple of ways you can get to cPanel. One is by logging into the member center in studentwebhosting.com, clicking on your products, view product, and then under the package action, you can just select log into cPanel. And this will take you and log you directly into cPanel. Another option is just by going to your domain name. So you can go to, for example, demo.andrewwilson.org or whatever your domain name is, mywebsite.com, and just say slash cPanel. And this works on all websites. And this will take you to the cPanel login for your website. Then you can enter in your cPanel username and password to be able to log into cPanel. As another shortcut, you can also go to your domain name.org slash webmail to be able to log into your website's email and send and receive emails from your address. For example, I could set up an email address under cPanel as andrew at andrewwilson.org. And this is where I would come and log in to send and receive those emails. Or I could also enter in the credentials to have those things uh, set up on my phone or maybe my email client at home and whatnot. All right, so let's go ahead and log into cPanel. Now, I've already got a session here open with me logged into cPanel, so this is where I'm at right here. And cPanel is a feature where you can set up all sorts of configuration options for your website. And there's quite a few advanced options in here. I would say if you're not sure what a setting is, don't change your, or uh, mess around with the settings too much as you can potentially break your entire website pretty easily with some of these options inside of here. But you can see as I scroll down, there's a whole bunch of options for different things you can install on your website. A popular one in here is the file manager. This is sort of like a built-in FTP program inside of the browser. You can come into the file manager and you can upload and download and rename directly inside of your web browser. So if you needed to make a change to your website in a pinch and you didn't have a laptop, anything with a browser, you can log in and make a quick update to a file if needed. Uh, another popular thing inside of here is setting up email accounts. And that's under, done underneath the email section. So I can just click on the email accounts section here and I can set up any email at andrewwilson.org and just create those and use those for my email. And then finally, another popular thing in here are, I guess there's two things. One of them is metrics. So you can come in here and look at your visitors. So a popular one here is called AW Stats. I can click on AW Stats and it will show me, if I click view here, it will show me all of the visitors that have been to my website and some information about them, how many per day uh, their IP addresses, where they're coming from, here's their IP addresses, uh, their operating systems, even some keywords they use to get to my website. So there's a lot of information about their visitors that you can find inside of the AW stats or the stats in general section of the uh, cPanel. And then lastly, down at the very, very bottom, there's a thing called Softaculous Apps Installer. And this is really popular for people who need to extend their website and add additional functionality in one click. For example, if I wanted to set up a WordPress blog on my website, or I could go and create posts and people can comment and whatnot, I can just come in here to the WordPress scripts, click this, and install WordPress on my website with a single click. Or maybe I need a shopping cart, I can install Press to Shop with a single click, or many other types of software available for install from cPanel. So that's how you can get into cPanel and set up some of the advanced settings for your website.